Hey, I'm Shag Dog. I'm Jammer. And we are. We are. <laughs> Go ahead, Jammer. No, no, you got it. Uh, we are the Spitter Swallow Beer Review. Uh, what you got there, Shag Dog? I'm doing Sex on the Beach by Club Tales. Uh, this is a third of their third of theirs that I'm doing. I've done their mar margarita and their uh, Bahama Mama. So 10%. Uh, two what brand is that again? Club Tales. All one Ooh. Right. <laughs> I, I missed that. What did you say that was again? Club Tales. You got it. That's only part of that song I know, too. Uh, that's uh, fine. <laughs> at 10%, 2.9 out of 5 on uh, Untapped. What you got? Well, Shag Dog, I have Cut Water, Spicy Bloody Mary. It is a 10% uh, ABV on this one. It's Bloody Mary made with Cut Water Vodka. Says right here, a fiery twist on the brunch time classic. Our award winning vodka and spicy signature mixer make for a bar quality cocktail that's full bodied and bold. Two shots of vodka, cut water, spicy Bloody Mary mix, and shake well. It also has on their website, Shagdai. I checked this out. It has 30 plus awards. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I was in awe too, just like you are right now. Uh, I, I was amazed. Uh, a spicy brunch staple, real vodka, featuring our award-winning U.S. Steel distilled vodka and our spicy Bloody Mary mix. Enjoy over ice with a savory garnish or straight from our can. Yes, and Jammer, one bad note about this review right now. Somehow we're only streaming live to Facebook. Don't know how that happens. Probably get well, excited with your whole micro microphone business and uh, gonna hit both things. Oh, is there a way we could share from Facebook to YouTube later on? Or I don't know. I don't know. That's really kind of a crappy thing that happened there. Yeah, that's kind of crappy. Oh, I, I think the... I can do it later. I could I could download it and upload it later. So, well, mine has poured just like a. Bloody Mary, you would expect the pork. I see a lot of peppery uh, pepper specks there, white and black pepper specks. Uh, it's a tomato color, like juice. Um, I do have Worcestershire sauce. Should I get some and put in here? No, don't worry. Unless you want to wait till later and make it taste better, if, if you think mm -hmm. that would help. But I get, get your first taste and everything out yeah. of it. For, yeah. Look at that. It looks like fruit punch or something. Yeah, it does. It looks like like, like a watermelon there. Watermelon yeah. uh, cooler or something kind of. Yeah, I guess Sex on the Beach does look like that, maybe. I, I haven't had one in such a long time. but uh, Yeah, I've heard that you hadn't had sex in a long time. All right, on the beach. Let alone on a beach. <laughs> right. <laughs> what was the uh, name of that brand again? Uh, this is Club Tales. <laughs> That's getting old already. <laughs> <laughs> just like you brother yeah it's it's a weird uh thing they're out of rochester it's uh i don't know where to, but there's some company connected in new york or canada too so i don't know look it up it says mine is made with award-winning real spirits produced in can by cutwater spirits san diego california so it got a lot of bum piss and crap and crack probably in it yeah they got a lot of flavors. Uh, this is the third one I'm doing, but I've only seen the three. There's about six, seven, eight different things. Yeah, oh, ten wow. percent alcohol, though. In case I didn't mention it. Yes, mine is exactly the same as yours. Ten okay. percent. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, you know, I have to say one thing about this. Uh, it's great if you can find a good brand that makes good quality cocktails in the can. Yeah. Or in your instance, it's called what? A sex on the beach. It's a club tail, right? Woo! Right, right. Yeah. Uh, mine, mine smells, smells like tomato and celery. It smells weird. 
Uh, smells like kind of like fruit punch, but a little bit of cherry cough syrup in it. They have on the back of the can. I don't know if you can even see that, Shag. Can you make it out? The jalapeno peppers there. Uh, all the peppers on the bottom, like little symbols. Yeah. Yeah. It says uh, shake well, and then it says one, two, three, four and a half peppers. That's how spicy it is. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. I'm ready to give it a sip. Yeah, mine smells spicy. It smells like pepper and smells uh, like a slight celery smell. I'm going to tomato. Cheers. Drink up. Oh. <laughs> Woo. That's 10%. Yeah. With a lot of spice. You taste the alcohol or? It's not really alcohol. It's the spiciness of it. You know, it's uh, it's got four and a half jalapeno peppers there, Shag Dog. Wow. Right. I feel the graininess of the pepper, you know, black pepper. The yeah. tomato. It's kind of nice, mellow heat, actually. Four and a half is, is push... For me, you could probably go up to five, five and a half, but then that would be reaching about the plateau. You know, it's like, all right, that's enough. You don't push any further, otherwise it won't be enjoyable. It'll be my, oh, God, I'm crying. You know? I don't know. You handle that ghost face killer pretty well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but that wasn't that bad. I thought it was. I needed milk. Oh, that's true. I remember that. You did need milk, didn't you? Yeah. But I the graininess of the tomato, the pepper, black it looks like white pepper in there too. Black and white pepper, I would think. Um it's quite tasty. Gets you you know how bloody Marys are, they pucker you up a little bit. Yeah. Because they have a little bit of uh, lemon or lime juice in it too. Mm -hmm. And that first initial sip, it's like you almost can taste the alcohol. Then kind. Of, what about yours, there, Shag Dog? I mean, it looks uh, inviting. Um, it's not real bad. It does have a little bit of a cherry medicinal taste to it. Oh, that's but terrible. it has a li little bit of a tropical punch type taste to it, also though. Mm. And technically, uh, what is sex on the beach supposed to taste like? Uh, I'd, have, I'd have to Google what actually is supposed to be in it. What is in a sex on the beach? It's not supposed to taste fishy, right? Right, or like cum. <laughs> uh, let's see. Vodka. Well, this is a certain one. It says vodka, peach schnapps, orange juice, cranberry juice. Mm. Cranberry juice. That might... Be interesting, yeah, yeah. It does have a little bit of a cranberry juice type, uh, you know, mouthfeel to Tartness. it, little, yeah, like in the center of the tongue, yeah. This heat, it, it, it comes on in the beginning at the tip of your tongue when you first taste it, and then it just reaches back to the back of your mouth there and kind of lingers there as you drink it. And once you've taken that sip, it's still there, the heat throughout but not so much up, the up front on your palate well, it's mostly to the middle to the back well i just noticed also you got your your camera finally matching mine pretty much where we're distance and body size usually you're like you know kind of closer or whatever so i, I don't know what you adjust but you did well padawan gracias senor yeah this is a 16 one pint one pint yeah, six ounce can. Well, Chad, I usually like to grade when I get down about here for the beer. Yeah. But I could go ahead and give you a grade on this because I feel as though it's going to be good the, the rest of the way, too. Yeah, this um, is going to be the same all the way down. So Yeah. I have to tell you, quite enjoyable and i could see you actually you know spicing it up even more by adding a celery stock a little worcestershire you know 
-hmm. and uh, an olive or two, you know, topping off that cocktail. So you could actually buy this and not have to buy the mix or anything because you got the alcohol already in it. Boom, buy it, pour your glass, add the celery stock, add a couple of olives, splash, splash, done. I don't have to go any further. The pepper level is nice. Excuse me. Everything's good. I, you know, as far as a cocktail in a can goes, uh, I haven't graded too many of these. Well, they blow out, Jane. They blow out. Uh, but I want to have to say, this Bloody Mary one here, it's pretty darn good. I'm going to have to give it a straight up A. Wow. It's That's tasty. pretty good, actually. And it's if not- I recall, their tiki rum that we had by them wasn't too bad either. Yeah. Or whatever heck it was called. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, the tiki rum, I think, was a little wild, crazy, you know? Yeah. But this, uh, uh, Bloody Mary, you know, it, it, it's it's blowing me away right now, man. And I'm shocked. Wow. I was yeah, th- pleasantly surprised. This, um, it's kind of, it has a little bit of carbonation, but it's kind of flat at the same time also, which, you know, I guess you want to have carbonation with a, mixed drink really especially with just juice in it and alcohol well you could and it might you know zing it up a little bit right it's not bad um I, i'm sure a regular sex on the beach would be better but for what it is a sex on the beach matter of fact malt beverage in a can i give it a b minus and a swallow uh, the only that, thing I hate about this is I'm going to have, last time I did one of these, the mango or the Bahama Mama, I had a horrible headache when I woke up. So I did that so, plus a few beers. So let me ask you, Shadow, is that a malt beverage or is that vodka? It's malt beverage. Oh, uh, yeah. The the malt beverage cocktail uh, in the can, they suck. They royally suck. That's why I was wondering with yours, but cut water, I think they actually put alcohol in their can. This, right? this is actual vodka, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you, you, I bought it from a liquor store, and and uh, it was, you know, yeah. This is kind of like what they would serve on an airplane, yeah. All right, for a Bloody Mary, you know, <clears throat> to where they wouldn't have to mix it and everything. I tried a uh, a drink when I was on the plane uh, flying to uh, was it Alaska. Or is that that was I think it was from when I was coming back from Germany that one time. It was uh, old fashioned in a can, and it was a small can about this size. But it was potent, man. It was forty percent alcohol, and it was rocking it. And it was pretty rough, but in, in the beginning. But let me tell you, that after drinking it, it was uh, pretty tasty. That's what I'm gonna have to do after I pour my stuff right now huh, with the name tag there. I'm gonna put that over that side so I have more room because it's I always keep it on the right, but it's going behind the name tag. That's what's going on. My glass is on the right, cans on the left. Yeah, I have to do that next time. But when I pour I, at the beginning, I keep it on the right so I can pour it, you know. Well, I see. see what I'm You're not I'm following the spitter swallow beer reviews protocols. Oh. This is this is part of the SOP. The standard operating procedure. You should know this by now. Well, uh, when we do it together, we well, I don't even know, we put the can in the center, right? Of us, yeah, yeah, to the left of me. So, so it'd be yeah, your left, my right. <laughs> Which uh, that's why that's why it's awkward for me. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, I'm enjoying this Bloody Mary, man. I, you know, they they sell a, a pack, a variety pack of these. I might have to go get that variety pack. Oh yeah, I, I'll see if I don't know if I can find it around here. I'll have to check it out, see if I can find it. Um, yeah, I I I, I was I got the uh, Bacardi's uh, uh, rum thing, uh, mojito, and oh yeah, something else. But I think that is a malt beverage. Could be. I'm not Man, sure about because I know Jack Daniels has some sort of thing. I think Jim Beam has some sort of drink. I never had any of those, but I wanted to try them, but they never sold them in singles. So I don't, I'm not going to buy a six pack of that crap. Back in the day, 
when they came out with Bacardi Breezers, it was actual rum. Mm -hmm. And they had sent it to the grocery stores and everything, thinking it was like a wine cooler and everything like that. And it wasn't the rum. And they almost got in trouble with the law because they were selling liquor without yeah. a liquor license. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember trying those Bacardi Breezers made with real rum, and they were damn good. Then they went to the malt beverage mm. and selling it in the store, and it was horrible Yeah, in comparison. I mean it's weird with the malt beverage style uh, that they get close. There's a similarity to it, mm -hmm. but you can still underneath undertone, you can taste it's a malt beverage. You know, there's like yeah. some sort of undertone there. Yeah. Um, overall, don't get me wrong. If you can make a, a Bloody Mary yourself fresh, you know, from yeah. scratch, it, it's always going to be better than this. But for a cocktail in a can, I thought it was a pretty good uh you know bloody mary representation yeah yeah uh cut water yeah i they probably do a good job because i remember that tiki rum one they actually used three different rums or two different mm. rums in it or whatever so yeah uh and we had a good time doing that one that was during holidays i think so yeah i think the let's see they had uh gotta go back Got to go back there, Shag Dog. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I do apologize. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I apologize to our YouTube viewers also. I forgot to hit YouTube. I got we're already live on Facebook, so this will be up. Yeah, it was Cutwaller's Tiki Rum Mai Tai, right? Yeah, that was it. Uh they uh they had cut water rum, uh, barrel aged rum, and natural flavors. White rum, yeah, yeah. As long as it wasn't red rum, and it was two shots of real rum in it. Mm. Yeah, white rum's good. Black, brown rum, whatever, good. Red rum, no good. Red rum, no. You know what? Red rum, red rum, red rum. Scatman Crothers. Why, man. why, Tony? Because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh uh what is that slang right slang the album by Def Leppard slang scat scat S mean poop scat is a word used for animal droppings feces or poop specifically for the con uh, cannivorous wild animal droppings feces for different creatures actually has different names bats and seabirds guano caterpillars and herbivores insects frass cows toth so when you have a guy nicknamed scat man crothers what is that implying he's a shit man yeah yeah and scat is a uh sexual game for the perverts who like to play with shit or something too yeah yeah that is true shag dog yeah like those german girls or greek girls like to get shitted on <laughs> crazy how many of them you know none but i saw a video one time back in the early 2000s someone sent me i can't remember who sent me that but it's like yeah girl yeah, it was, I think it was fake because it, it was coming out like uh, an ice cream swirl. Like when you hit the ice cream thing, and it comes out like a swirl into the cone. That's yeah. Oh. <laughs> it looks weird as hell. Anyhow, anyways, <laughs> there goes my Joe Biden moment. Anyways, hey, that was not bad. I'm gonna be ten percent. I'm already buzzing already. I'm going to have a horrible headache later, too. I just know it. I can feel it coming on already. Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering because we went, we started live, and I usually get the update notification from YouTube live. It didn't show up, yeah. and then I looked up, and I saw only this our logo with the F on it. I'm like, fuck. So which, uh, well, let me see if we're on here. I'll, I'll refresh this page and see if I see it on... Uh. Mm, well, my sorry. true, yeah, my true reviews got it. Yeah, I'll have to just upload it later on YouTube. Matter of fact, as soon as we get done, I can upload it on YouTube probably. Awesome, awesome, there, Shagda. Uh, 
All right. Well, uh, ready for the what next was, one? Or what I was going to say, you know, uh, what really gets me is uh, a shot. How much does a shot equal? An ounce? Yeah, one ounce is a shot. One ounce. Actually, a jigger is 1.5. What the hell is a jigger? Uh, I don't know. Jigger is what you use for the shot, right? So that's called a jigger? Like a shot is 1.5 ounces. Hmm. Wow. I'm so sure a jigger is what you use to take from the bottle into the and then pour it into the the shot glass yeah i never understood those things that are around the bottles like a little metal tube they stick in the bottle it's got a little tube coming out and they pour it is that yeah. make it so you can only pour a jigger or or and it stops kind of or they just make it i don't know i know some bottles have it to where it stops but i i don't know hmm. yeah I'm not, I've never been a bartender. Maybe that so. maybe that gives you exactly that a jigger. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I knew a couple bartenders. I wish they could come on our show with us, but yeah. they won't. They won't. No, they're too uptight. No, I mean the one great bartender we had at Cheers, Tammy. Uh, she doesn't go out anymore. I don't think as much she used to. She doesn't bartend anymore. She's older, you know, in her mid fifties or whatever. But she probably would have came on the beer review show if I asked her to. Actually, back. At, you know, years ago, probably not now though. Yeah. She's too big and telling the future stuff. So she has, she's like me. She's a precog. Oh yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I had a dream about tsunamis in Daytona. A couple yeah. last night. And week. now, and now Lake Mead is getting flooded with uh, uh, oh, uh, rain, uh, tropical rain. storm. Yeah. Kind of a storm Henry or whatever it's called. Uh, you know Carol. what gets me is they're ta calling it Hurricane Hillary over there in the Pacific, right? Yeah. But in the Pacific, it's not supposed to be called a hurricane. Well, I think it was coming towards the North America or South America. If it's going the other way, it's a typhoon, right? Like uh, well, it's, or... it's very confusing when they're talking about the West Coast in a hurricane yeah and they got different letters over there too they're over on the other side so if it's a pacific i guess if it's pacific and it's coming towards south america central america north america it's a hurricane if it's going west you know hawaii over that way it's a typhoon well all i know is that i haven't heard too many songs uh give me a hurricane before i go in saying you know that kind of thing yeah, yeah i've never heard many uh typhoon uh uh, I heard Rocky like a hurricane. I yeah, heard Rocky too. like a typhoon. Yeah, here I am, Rocky like a typhoon. Yeah, it doesn't flow, does it? No. I'm a goon, Rocky, Rocky like a typhoon. Like a typhoon. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, really good. Yeah. All right, Jim. Uh, oh, okay. in the big scheme of things, Shag Dog, all we need is love, man. The big scheme of things, you're just a little spider crawling all over, Mr. Potter. Yeah, well, <laughs> don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Mr. Banner. But I love it when a plan comes together. So, uh, you know, maybe we should move right along. I pity that fool <laughs> that doesn't watch the next video. <laughs> I agree there, Shag Dog. All right. <laughs> We'll hey, see you on this one, guys. <laughs> yeah, we are the Spitter Swallow Beer Review. I'm Jabber. I'm Shag Dog. Take Someday care. We're, we're going to close this video out. Yeah. Yeah.